Hey YouTube, what's going on? Mark here and happy Sunday. Um, Today's the day we're going to a birthday party or next block over for Josh. You know, it's a total, total far cry from the Josh I work with, that triad, you know, or as I like to call it, triad Viaquist to keep it simple since two programs merged into one. Triad on one side, Viaquist next door. But anyway, this is a sweet little boy who's... um. <laughs> A, like has a hair fetish. Even he, I know he's gonna touch my head again, like I, he did last year. I mean, I remember I talked about it in one of my previous recent videos, or he did that last year when I met him. But I didn't catch that moment on camera, and I most likely won't catch it on camera here today. But that was just a love at first sight moment for me with for, with with him. So when I see him today, I'm gonna squeeze the shit out of him the same way I squeeze that Caden kid. You know, whenever he jumps on me for hugs, you know. Caden's point of view, but we're going to save that discussion about that particular boy for another day, sometime like throughout the summer and the weeks and months to come. But right now I'm a little, I'm like 40 minutes behind because I slept 40 minutes in too late, but hey, at least, at least it's better than, you know, close to the time where the party would have been over. So therefore I'm just going to get, get, get ready off camera and I'll meet you all outside and we walk over there. So let's get this fiesta started. Casanova style. Boogity. Boogity, boogity. A few moments later. All right, we're on the way to the Beals household to have to go to Josh's party, and I was in for a surprise as soon as I walked out the walked out the door. The crotch of doom was standing there talking to my grandfather, and we were, of course we Demon Doby came up, and you know Crotch of Doom said talked about how I ran about. Well, what was this? Not yesterday, not, not yesterday, was it, the, that might have been Thursday or Friday, and then of course, when we did that random, when we did that randomness vlog, when we were petting him, and then he, of course, I like to accuse him of trying to bite my, bite my dick off, even though he was just sniffing my crotch, I always jokingly say, if I tried that shit, it would be a felony, and of course it would, because I'm a human being, and they have different brain animals have different brains than people oh here's that packed house let's go get it see that house right there that's where we need to go so let's go check it out like kevin lapage Le meet you all in there this is it this is it this is it this is it holy shit here we go here we go here we go and we made it this is carter my i love this kid i just met him today but i love him already they like to say to my judge to my audience Yup, this is this is Joshua's party. I I promised him I would squeeze the shit out of him. That, that's what I did. Come over here. Come over here. We're doing. This is the birthday boy right here, Joshua. How old are you today? How old are you today? Nine. Nine for Bill Elliott. Oh, um, we got my two favorite boys in the back, uh, Carter and Josh. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is a dream come true. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Grace Tip, and she can't YouTube no more due to her job as a teacher in the summer. But if you, if she ever somehow gets back into it one day, you know, she stops being a teacher, which I don't know when the hell that's gonna happen. Subscribe to her channel. Link is in the description. What is what? Who, what, what grade are you teaching anyway? Uh, first through third. In summer school. Yep. That's what I thought. That, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a handful. Like a bunch of kids going around the whole place, like like we're like we're dealing with right now. Yeah. Man, look at all look at all these kids. Look at all these. Look, would you look at this crowd? My goodness. Kind of cut Grace off in the middle middle of what she was talking. I didn't know she was still talking. No, I'm sorry okay. about that. No, it's okay. What were you saying? Uh, I forget. <laughs> about how the kids are running around. Oh, there's so many. There's like ten of them here. There's ten of them here. <laughs> there's some in the back right there. Right. Yep. I I can see them. <laughs> Oh, they don't sell the whack ones anymore? All right, one at a time. One at a time. Are all the kids over here? Hold on. Go over there and play. Try that game. Everybody get your ass over here. <laughs> we got work to do. <laughs> this is not the whacking version from when I was a kid. All right. All right, one at a time. Come on, baby. One at a time, guys. Not all at once. Nick, over here. Oh, it's, it's working. It's working. Oh, here can they come. Here they come. Oh, dear. Oh. 
You made that look way too easy. Oh, Carter's doing the shake and bonbon. Bon. Now, Rachel. Right there. Yeah. 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 Cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños, cumpleaños, the hair touching boy, cumpleaños feliz, blow that shit out. Oh yeah, mi gente. Okay, I was too busy talking to Markello, we cut him in late on this. Here, here he is opening the. Now you can peek. Now you can peek. That's Star Wars, isn't it? I can see it. Let me take a look. Oh, no, I can't. That's not Star Wars. What am I thinking? No, it's it's something else. Right that way. Is that, your, is that your husband, Jordan? Oh my God, he's fun. there's a bunch of funny people here today. You're not the only one. The, that that Ralph guy is pretty hilarious too. What, what, what's your name, sir? My name's Jake. Mark. I'm Michelle and Bob's neighbor. There's a bunch of comedians here. They think they're Rob Riggle or David A. Arnold. Those are my two favorite actors and comedians. Rob Riggle all time, David Arnold currently. Yeah, everybody has their own favorite. Mine's David Arnold and Rob Riggle. My, my, my honorable mention, Anthony Anderson, who follows me on Instagram. Yeah, because I made him a happy birthday post. He liked it so much that he followed me. This was two years ago, I think. Yeah, we got a little, we got a little background commentary from this Jake dude. What, what the two, what the, are they your kids? What's their name? Dom and Nick. Dom and Nick. Uh, I'm gonna be, that's gonna be easy to remember. I know that they're meant for each other. The brothers. But they fight like crazy. Like Jerry Springer. Or Moody Barker action from The Price is Right. That's from Happy Gilmore where Adam Sandler and Bob Barker are fighting. That's why how I came up with the Booty Barker action for the prices, right? Because I call Bob Barker Booty Barker. Oh, cuidado. Some of y'all can't even, some of us can't even focus on the whole presence because we got comedy going on behind the camera. Yeah. Who brought him a sponge? I didn't see a sponge in there. Where? You know, like Spongebob, you know that show? Even though it's not as fun anymore like it used to be when I was your age. You guys are going to fall out of the chair and do the Jeff Ham. We're going to Jeff Ham in that shit. Jordan, is he drunk or something? This is my first time meeting him, and you know, I never, I never seen anybody act this weird. Whenever I met them first, I met him in a good way. You just welcome. You just. Right, right. Come on, move. Okay. Okay, now we got we got pedestri pedestrians going in the middle of the camera. How many presents is this kid opening? Hot Wheels. I you're gonna love that because I used to enjoy that when I was your age. Oh, 
Well then, go. I have I've had a history of kids jumping on me too when I don't even know them. Yeah, this to three years ago at a party and then in another house in the neighborhood, I had this one little kid jump on me because you know I guess she liked me or something. I don't know. But now since but now she moved away. Now she lives in Kansas. Yeah, that's what home of the Kansas Speedway and the Banquet 400 Fall Race and the Chase. Yeah, NASCAR. Yeah. 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 Paw Patrol, see? Now when I see Paw Patrol, anything, I have to think of you, man. Yeah. Oh, look out! Get out of my way. Get out of the chair, guys. Come on. No mas. No mas. God, this is the longest clip ever. Hold on, I need to split this up. Okay, I had to start this over again. They're at the, we're at the tail end of the presents. Mark. Michelle, Bob, and Cam's neighbor. I live next block over. They're going that way. You you seen but if you have a, if you have a YouTube account I do a lot of YouTube videos in this neighborhood and get the other, get the neighbors involved whether they have a channel or not. Okay. Unfortunately, Thursday and Friday were dead, so therefore those videos I made were an absolute bust. Well, because okay, yeah, but the school the school's still in session, so I understand. But at the same time, it's very frustrating when I waited all winter for this. Yeah, when come summertime, it's going to be more active. Oh, look at that, a banjo. Or is that a violin or a ukulele? The last one you said. Ukulele? It's a violin. No. God, this, he's probably... I may, I may be going on the limb, but this kid's the greatest Paw Patrol fan of all time. I'm going, I'm going, I like why I said I'm going out on a limb. Look at them sharing that together. Was that it? No. Happy Bill Elliott ninth birthday, Josh. Glad, okay, glad that's over with. But what did you do with the balloon, Henley? Show the audience. This is a YouTube video. That is so cool. And at least you didn't make it scary. I'm glad you didn't do that. Because I, I, when I was your age, I used to have a shit ton of nightmares. Wait. No, because I, like, you know, they take Carter and at least, do you know what Crash Bandicoot is? At least somebody. Do you, are you old enough to remember the older games on the PS1 with Naughty Dog? 
No, I, that's what I grew up with. Well, the third game, Crash Bandicoot 3, gave me years of nightmares because that was the first game to include the evil mask, Uka Uka, who was Aku Aku's tw evil twin brother. That game over screen gave me years of nightmares whenever I lost all my lives and he popped up quicker in, in the game over screen compared to the blue, the, the, the time twister cutscene in the mission sequences that was, had a blue swirly background while well, the game over screen looked scarier, had a red, reddish orange evil swirly background. That's what used to scare me. And then I'd go to bed and sleep like, feeling good and then i'd wake up in the middle of the night screaming on lenore when i lived in michigan because of uka uka he get, he haunted my nightmares for years until i beat that game and i was 13 that you asked me it took me until 2007 to beat that game in the middle of the 2007 2008 school year it's yeah i owned that game since i was like you know four years like five years old 98 99 around the time it came out and then it took me till 2007 i was 13 to beat it and then I, that's when i eventually overcome came my nightmares about uka uka it took me till 13 to get over that so we ended up getting two hilarious guys in, the, in this house today the second comings of david arnold and david a arnold and rob riggle ralph and jake so and there's Mallory again, one of my very best of friends. And it's her son that's the recipient of celebrating today, turning Bill Elliott nine years of age. <laughs> you seen her in my other vi last video we did, the, was it the Tristan Bayon birthday tribute? And I decided to put our time together in a separate video. Go check those out. Links are in the description. Now we're cleaning house and we might be able to go home a little earlier than I thought. See, stuff like this is why he's the, the second coming of David Arnold and Rob Riggle. So you're, you're really Dave Melton, right? Oh my God. Uh, possibly. <laughs> so, I yeah. Can, I, I might be undercover. Maybe. So if I'm oh. undercover, you can't give away my real name. So just call him Ralph. Ralph. Just keep it at Ralph for now. Ralph for now, okay. <laughs> Either way, stuff like this is why you and you are the second coming of David Arnold and Rob Riggle. Funny as fuck. No, I'm Kevin Hart. Okay, I'll, you're, I, I get the biasness, so I'll, I'll let you have that. But for but for me, generally, it'll always be David Arnold and Rob Riggle to me. I'm going to be Kevin Hart. Yeah, yours, Kevin Hart. What about you? Who's your favorite Ralph comedian? Mouth. No, but who's your, no, who's your favorite famous comedian? Ralphie May. Is that a real comedian? Yes, yeah. dude. I used to watch him back in, um, what's that movie called? What's that movie called? Um, White Chicks. Oh, no, I, know. I watched that movie before, yeah. But David Arnold's a Nickelodeon guy, and he also worked on BET and Netflix and other oh, stuff. Oh, no, he's a heavy set white guy, right? Right. Oh, so not okay. Now I guess you guys are telling me the truth after all. My yeah, but Rob Riggle. Actually, my favorite comedian is Chris Rock. Oh, the one who got slapped the shit by Will Smith. Boom. I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't a Booty Barker clock. He's that, gonna smack Will Smith like Will Smith's gonna have smack him. No, cause I, I call Will Bob. Smith his career, career, and he, he ruined, ruined his career. His and now he's getting canceled and everywhere. He got the Grammys on top of that. And then he got a ten-year ban. <laughs> From, yeah, the from the Oscars, yeah. He, he, he just said on, on national TV he ruined his career. Huh? He does, they don't. Yeah. But the I called Bob Barker's wife. Yeah. 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 I called Bob. I called Dave. I called Bob Barker Booty Barker. Uh, all right. He, because there's a NASCAR coach in Booty Barker. Because of the scene Happy Gilmore, him and Adam Sandler fighting. Whenever I see a fist flying in a fight, I call it Booty Barker action from The Price is Right. Yeah. Okay. We we it was com it was Comedy Central down here. Let's see what's going on up here. It's almost time for us to go too. So yeah. Where the hell is the birthday boy? Oh, there he is. Hey, let's get a picture, hair touching boy. Okay, you guys are gonna bust up the pool table. <laughs> how do you how do you guys get away with this stuff? If I was your age and tried this, I'd be getting crucified. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you how how, uh, how not to play pool 101. How do not play pool 101? See, look, now we got balls falling on the floor. Oh, my.
my goodness. How are we getting away with this? Crazy. Finally, we are on round pin. It basically the whole cow's cl cleared itself. We got Grace's. Gra left. Yeah, Grace. Yeah, everybody left. Grace's boyfriend is of course because he lives here. But this is Grace's boyfriend. You know, um, so Cameron. Nice. No one. You know, she can't do YouTube anymore because she's a teacher. And you know, teachers are. You know, people and school people in general are cocky about that kind of stuff. Yeah, so unfortunately, yes. Mm -hmm. Where's all that? What? I think they're downstairs. I think they're downstairs, bud. Go look, go look go check it out like Kevin LePage. Do you know who Kevin LePage is? No NASCAR idea. driver with a 61 car. Although to be fair, he drove the reverse of 61 before Biffle was there, 16 at Roush. Cool. It's like the only good thing he did was win the pole at actually he won a couple bulls, but the best one I've ever seen him have, like at like after the fact that I wasn't in NASCAR when this first happened, he won the I didn't qualify outside the front row at Texas in 2000 and got a top five out of it. Usually whenever the back marker's running in the front, it's usually because all the heavyweights either crashed out or, you know, blue engines. You know, the underdogs had, had a chance at the upset. Yeah. 07 Coke 600 was a perfect example. We had people like my favorite driver at the time. I was telling Carter and Annalise about it. Kyle Petty, JJ Yaley, screw him, by the way. Um, Casey yeah, Mir, for, you know, Joe Gibbs screwing over Bobby Labonte in his favor. Because okay. they thought he found the next Tony Stewart. Well, that didn't work out. So we had those three. Reed Sorensen, Brian Vickers, Jeremy Mayfield, all by 2007 standards, never ran in the front. They had a chance at winning. And out of all people, Mears, Mears, out of all of them, Mears was the one who prevailed. And the one I was rooting for finished third. I always say if that race for 401 laps instead of 400, because, you know, Mears and Neely ran on the cooldown lap, guess who wins the 07 Coke 600 if there was 401 laps instead of 400? Kyle Betty! There you go. And I, 13 year old me would have stayed up partying when he oh, was yeah. when he was interviewed. I started crying happy tears because of the fact that it felt like he won the race after finishing 30 at their worst multiple laps down all the time, right. or running in the middle of the pack or tearing up equipment all the time. And seeing him finish third in that race was so refreshing, even if it meant all the heavyweights had to crash or blow up for him to do it. Yeah. It just felt yeah. like if I mean I was crying happy tears like he won the race or something. Because it, it was so refreshing to see him get a good finish. I know he had a couple top tens before that, you know, eight at Bristol and, you know, eight at Dover the, two years earlier. I think he had a top ten at Martinsville in 2006, but finishing third was a whole different animal in 2007. In the Coke yeah. Zero car of all people. Two more, one more lap and then when Mears and Yaley ran out, that's a win. I would, you know, considering how all these years, what's, what's, how many years later was 2007 all the way to now? So 15 years later, Kurt Busch did what Kyle Petty couldn't even do for me as a kid. Put the 45 in victory lane with 2311 racing, owned by Michael Jordan and that imposter and Brett Bodine's number we call Dennis. I just never liked Hamlin. That's the thing, you know. People want to compare him to Mark Martin as the drive, best driver to never win a championship. But except Mark was a good person. Hamlin's a douchebag. And plus, I, most people, you know, want to talk about Hamlin, but I more remember Brett Bodine in the 11 for his own racing under the Hooter sponsorship. Are you old enough to remember Brett Bodine? I have no idea who that is. Nascar, he was the one of the three Bodine brothers, Brett, Jeffrey, and Todd. Todd was actually my favorite because, you know, he just seemed like a cool guy, even if it means he could only do it in Bush and Craftsman Truck and Winston Cup. He was just an underdog. Jeffrey had 18 cup wins. Brett got one win because some scoring fuck up at North, North Wilkesboro in 1990. Yeah. That's how Brett won his race. And he has a brother named Brett. That's how I remember his name, you know, the name connection. How come they didn't come today, Brett and, and Brett? Uh, I think he might be at work. And I noticed Logan didn't Logan didn't show up either. Yeah. I saw him yeah. last time I was here. I just didn't have time to talk. Yeah, next time next time Logan comes over, I'll let you know. I'll show him this. I'll okay. Him this. It's going to be a whole YouTube video, so keep an eye out. I it's can't. going up tonight. All right. Um, Josh is trying to piece together all of his presents and, you know, all this stuff that he got. Balloons and every, everything. I don't know about you taking all of them things. We oh. don't need all of them. Oh, you dropped something. Whoa, whoa. What the hell did I almost fall over? Okay. <laughs> this kid's a handful. Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah. You're telling me anything. 
It's not wrong either. And we mean that in a good way, Josh. It's it's a good. Every, we love everything about you. Yeah. I can't believe you're nine now. Considering when I met you, you were up to my hip, and now you're just as tall as me. Uh huh. And I, it's only been a year, and he's already as tall as me. Well, it's been two years since I since we seen you. I met him I, on the on the front porch a, a year ago in the summer. Oh. I had no plans on meeting him. That's what made it more special. When something goes unplanned like that, that's what makes it more fun and meaningful and exciting. Right. God, this kid is something special. And stuff like this is what I mean by how not to play pool 101. Well, that's it. We're done for the day. Well, I basically, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, little um, birthday party vlog that you know I, get, I brought to you guys today. <laughs> and I got to meet some new friends. I got to see a bunch of people I loved and something that the Goldbergs taught me that I'll get to when I do the little outro spiel. So anyway, we're about to go home, park this, park this bus and um, go. We don't even need a shower. We don't even need it. It wasn't even that hot today, but it was boiling in there I was boiling in there we're gonna go home cook us some dinner some steak drink some coke watch other people's youtube videos um edit and uh, edit and edit and upload this and just chillax for the remainder of the night so i don't know when my next video is gonna be but i believe since it's gonna have a final fun final cold front we'll be doing some catching up on flash and nickelodeon you know we'll be catching up on flash we'll be catching up on danger force catching up on side hustle before we get into the summer television season on disney channel so until i'll figure out the schedule one by one right now i'm not gonna think about it because you know i have to like settle you know you know, you know what's the term i'm looking for I have to, like, you know, you know, unwind from this, you know, bizarre weekend we had yesterday and the, the yesterday but didn't go so well. I mean, meaning, you know, the trend, you know, the trend didn't like on the trend and the pattern didn't have all three pieces put together for history to repeat itself, you know, like it did, you know, last month when it was the week, it was the third week of the month, you know, Friday before Easter, poker game night, and then. The all-star, you know, not the all-star, Easter Bunny 500 dirt race. So unfortunately, this trend didn't work out because Friday, it was it was dead in this neighborhood. It was the bus. Saturday was an even bigger bus. Even though, to be fair, Thursday was kind of a bus too. Kind of crotch of doom just went by. But yeah, Thursday and Friday were bus. Saturday didn't go so well. But at least today was kind of redemption. But you know the drill. So. I'll figure out my the right remainder of my TV schedule to finish out them this 2021 television season, 2021 2022 television season as this cold front passes on through. So until next time, this is Mark Oliveira signing off. I hope you enjoyed today's birthday party vlog. So the next videos I think are going to be reaction videos to the rain, the, the Flash and Danger Force and Side Hustle episodes I missed. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it. It ain't for the week. Goddamn, be you. You have to try harder to do less. You can't deport a dream. Sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best things. Um, what was the next thing? I mean, the worst thing lead to the best things. One thing, the worst things in life lead to the best things. Oh my God, what was the other line? Um, oh yeah, so only on the something the Goldbergs taught us that we that, you know we utilized tonight, which paid off. Always bet on the side of love, and most important of all, check yourself before you wreck yourself. So take care, everyone. Good night. So hopefully Alex Bowman wins the All Star race tonight. Let alone the Dickies 500 in the fall, so that abomination of a track we call Texas Motor Speedway can go away forever. So I will see you all for that next video. So see you later, everyone.